Hey, beautiful. How you doing? Thank you for being here. Thank you for choosing me to entertain you today. I don't know why you chose me, but I'm gonna do my best to entertain you. First time I did this, super fun. Second time I did this is today. We're watching some people go to the worst rated hair salons and it's gonna be hard to watch. I already know it. Very interested to see what's gonna happen to these girls when they go to the worst rated hair salons. And by the way, before I watch these, I wouldn't recommend going to the worst rated hair salons. It just sounds like a bad idea. So please save your hair and don't do that or do, but please record it. In other news, I have shampoo and conditioner with my name on it. If you didn't see me already infiltrate every social media network about this, well, here it is again, launching on September 13th and I'm so stoked about it. And if you haven't heard yet, I'm also doing a Mondo makeover giveaway. I'll be picking one of you to fly to New York, put you in a hotel, give you a makeover, film it, put it on my YouTube channel. It'll be epic, it'll be amazing. All you gotta do to enter is share your love for X Mondo on Instagram or Twitter and or purchase a bottle of Project X shampoo and conditioner or Glitterati or anything. Just really share your love for the brand on social media with the hashtag X Mondo and Mondo makeovers. And that's all you gotta do to enter I'll be picking a winner on September 22nd. That will be posted on my Instagram. So if you would like to possibly get a Mondo makeover, do your thing. Just make it known you want to win and put those hashtags on there. And that is all you gotta do. Let's watch some people go to the worst rated hair salons in the world. Let's do it. Our first video is titled, I went to the worst hair salon in my city. This one's for you, Brad Mondo. Thank you. Also, no thank you, but thank you. You guys know what I always say. If you're gonna ruin your hair, please record it. Otherwise, what's the point? And this video is by Dave X. Keisha. What's up, Keisha? You are beautiful from what I can see in this screenshot. All right, let's watch the thing. I'm going to be going on um, a little adventure, I guess you can call it. Um, I'm gonna be vlogging my whole day today, but I'm going to the hair salon to mm -hmm. get my hair done. I'm trying to like keep my hair out of like the frame so that you don't like fully see what it looks like. So, oh, she already got it done. Um, but yeah, it was it was definitely interesting. Okay, so we have entered the salon premises. I'm literally about to get my hair blonde. Um, so I guess I get to practice a little bit, so that's fun. But yeah, I'm super excited. Me too. It's been a minute since I was born, but yeah, I will record the process and, and I hope you guys enjoy as much as I do. So we're starting off some level four hair, naturally curly, beautiful locks, looks nice and healthy. Great place to start when you're bleaching hair. It looks like it's her natural hair color. It looks like she hasn't colored it in a long time or ever maybe, I don't know. Looks great though. I think this is gonna be great for her. I wonder what kind of blonde she's gonna do. Okay, so we are starting the application process. We are going in there with a lot of whitener, it looks like. Looks like we are going blonde, blonde. Not just blonde, but like blonde. Okay, so it looks like she is doing a foiling technique where she covers every single hair strand. I guess we're going platinum or maybe with like a rooted blonde look. Um, And so far, I don't mind the process. Besides the slight messiness of the foils, I am a foil snob. I do like very clean foils. She looks like she's doing a very thorough job. She is fully saturating those pieces. I wonder what she's using. I do not know. And she is going in there and she is covering a lot of pieces. However, I do believe these foils are a little too thick. You aren't gonna get the most consistent lightening. If I was gonna do this kind of process, I would probably go in with very tiny slices. It is so much damn work and it is so much damn time. I don't know, maybe this hairdresser was dealing with a time constraint. You never know. But I would probably go in with smaller, tiny little foils. That way all the bleach incubates the hair section properly and evenly and it is just like boom penetrated i think we are going in the right direction for keisha i think that this is going to be excellent for her um for an application like this i'd probably be using lightener with 30 volume developer we are combing it in um i have to say i've never really used a comb when doing a lightening process i don't know maybe it's the shit i however have never tried that um just doesn't seem like the right thing to do we are doing a lot we are going in and in and in and out in and out in and out 
So I see a lot of feathering going on to the root. I don't think we are trying to make it blonde root to ends like a double process would be. Um, I think we are going for more of a rooted look, which will be nice for Keisha, I believe. This is going to really brighten up her face, bring out that beautiful skin tone she has, and warm her up and add a lot of glowiness to her. I feel like this is a great idea with her curls. Also, if she, if she leaves it naturally to dry, I think that the blonde is really gonna enhance her curls and bring depth to her hair. The other thing is, I don't know how people like sit there and record people <laughs> do their hair. If somebody was recording me like this, I'd be like, what are you doing? Are you okay? And I'd be so nervous. Keisha is mad bored right now. Get me the hell out of this chair. You give me five minutes in a salon chair and I want to crawl out. I hate getting my hair done. It is the worst torture ever. There's nothing fun about it to me besides the outcome of when it's done and you're like, I feel so good about myself. I look so pretty. I am the most beautiful, most charming, intelligent person in the world. That feeling you get when you're done getting your hair done, you're just like, I'm beautiful. You know what I mean? You all know what I mean. So the lightning process looks like it is happening and it is going well. I mean, that's a good amount of time. I think 30 minutes for her curly hair, very fine hair, not thin, fine. I'm not saying she's like balding. I'm saying she has small hair fibers. When you have small hair fibers, that is called fine hair. Get with it, okay? She doesn't have thin hair, she has fine hair. It looks like medium thickness, lightens the easiest in my opinion, and gets to like pure white. So bravo to that hairdresser. They seem like they're doing a fine job and I don't know where this is going to go wrong. Is it going to go wrong? I don't know. Oh my God. That looks dope. I feel like it's gonna actually be really good on her. <sighs> Worst rated hair salon, where? Where, Keisha? Where? I wanna know where. We are taking the foils out. Um, okay. We are seeing a bit of yellowness, like an 8G kind of color, a gold. Interesting, interesting, with a very dark root. Oh, it's quite orange. And Keisha does not look happy. But uh, hey, it's sort of to be expected when you're trying to go light for the first time from a level four color. You could probably avoid a lot of that yellowness if you did finer foils um, and did more of them. And maybe up the developer, I'm not sure what she was using. The real handiwork is going to come when she gets the toner put on her hair because that is when you can really change the look of the lightened hair. Toner is a deposit only color. So it's not gonna lift your hair anymore. It's just going to deposit the tone that you desire on your hair. Oh my God, it is orange, yellow orange over here. I don't I lost my train of thought. I don't. Okay, it was all going good, and now I'm seriously worried. <laughs> Toner, please save me. Literally, please save her. This is where we are going to see the real talent come through. If this hairdresser is talented or not, because this toner could make or break. You don't want to go too ash-toned with this toner because the ends are very porous and it will pick up gray if you do too much ash, but however, you want enough ash so that that orange midsection will be toned just enough, so possibly doing two different toners on the roots, mids, and ends is probably what we're gonna need to do in order for it to come out evenly. Maybe we do a bit of a root shadow on the roots. Then we do a mid section toner, possibly with a ash tone level eight toner on the mids and then on the ends, maybe an eight neutral to balance out the porosity on the ends so that they don't pick up too silver or gray. You're probably gonna do a triple toner for this hair. That's at least what I would probably do. However, I am not there in real life to see what's going on. So I can only give you my professional opinion. But please, Toner, save her hair. She looks like she's doing a bit of a root shadow, so that's good. She is not shy with this camera work. She is going in on this woman. I would be so nervous. This is too much. What? Oh, because of the brown? Yeah, if I didn't put the brown, so it's do not you, their fault. So you agree with that? Yeah, it's true. I mean, I'm okay. hair school, I can't. Okay, whoa, whoa, so Keisha is a, a cosmetologist. I think for what 
as she was working with and for going to a mall salon, no offense to mall salons. I mean, they just don't have the best reputation all the time. Not saying that somebody from a mall salon can't do good hair, just not always the best rep. Don't come for me. She looks stunning, but apparently she's not happy with it. She put level four box eye on her hair before she got a bleach. And that is why probably it came out a little bit orange. But the warm tone looks great on her. I don't think she needs ash toned hair or like white, white hair. I think the bronzy blonde is really complimentary to her skin tone and really makes her look healthy and glowy. It didn't turn out as bad as I thought it would. Honestly, I She's so pretty. did dye my hair brown over my blonde hair so i knew that this might actually be a struggle so i'm not really shook about like the seven tone <laughs> batches that i have going on but that's life she looks really great in my opinion i i think i think the hairstyles really pulled through and did her very best to work with what she got i like it it was nice and this next video is called he ruined my hair new hair big fail before and after and this is by princess nona okay princess let's see what happens i'm getting my hair done Oh. I think I'm chopping it like all the way to like right here. <laughs> my blonde is so damaged. I've been blonde for almost seven years. I have to get rid of it because it's ruining my hair. I'm not obsessed with that. Why are you asking for that? I'm just like not really into that, but that's just my opinion, I guess. By the way, Maureen, my best friend, the one that was in my last video, she recommends this place because she goes there. It's far, but if it's hopefully it's worth it. Because if not, I'm gonna be so mad at her. <laughs> Let me show you what my hair's looking like now. Great sectioning. Oh my god. Whoa, her hair is white and damage, man. How much of your roots do you want dark still? I want. She doesn't want her roots colored. All this guy really has to do is put a toner on her hair, blend in her current roots to her current ends, just smudge the color down into the blonde, give her some variations in height of where the blonde starts and ends to give it more of an ombre feel, and then do a mid color and do an end color and have it kind of run from dark brown to light brown to blonde she could be in and out of the salon within an hour like it, this is an easy easy process not super easy it's very artistic but when you're trying to convert me back to brunette when they've already been this blonde it's not really like the hardest process it's the other way around that's hard it's like making somebody blonde from brunette honestly he could have just put a toner on her hair and called it a day i don't know what he's doing with bleach right now but that is very concerning <laughs> Right, that's what I would assume. Why is there so many foils? This crispy end's about to be gone, bitch. Not even the length that she asked for. My hair is done. Or the color. I what I so I'm home, I'm annoyed, I'm irritated, I'm not really feeling my hair. I walked in with a picture of exactly what I wanted and he said, perfect, you know, he could do it. I left looking nothing like the picture. Nothing. He ended up dyeing my roots, bleaching them at that. So I've been growing my hair out for like a few months. So I don't have to bleach the roots and I could just let everything grow out. But he bleached them, so that's that. I'm just so highly annoyed. Oh. I know how that feels. Oh, it's such a painful process growing out your roots and then to have somebody like just ruin all that work you did with like waiting and waiting and waiting for that new hair to grow in and then somebody re-bleaching them after you waited so long to get healthy hair again. I am so sorry that happened to you, but next time just ask for a toner or a glaze to be added to your hair. That's 
all you need. Smudge those roots down, deepen those ends. You don't need any more lightener put on your hair. You don't need any more developer put on your hair. You need just a toner and more of a haircut. She didn't even cut it as short as the girl had it in the picture. Not only is my hair like still blonde, but I had to cut it. Oh, my hair is still damaged. My hair basically is what I already had, just not yellow. Like it's toned. Okay, update. I'm trying to get myself used to it. It's not that it's like hideous or anything, it's but not it just like wasn't what I asked for. But whatever, I'm just going to freaking deal with it. And what I'm hoping for is I'm hoping when my hair is curly that it actually looks good. You know what I'm saying? Because straight is just it's just not working for me. Especially because it's not done with the flat iron and I'm not supposed to be using the flat iron anymore. I'm supposed to blow dry it or go under the rollers or do whatever. So confused or whatever. Ah, I'm so sorry that happened to you, girl. Next time, hopefully, it's not as painful as a pro of a process and... Tear. Actually, the first one was pretty decent. The second one, ugh. Oh, mm, mm, mm. Mm -mm. Do your research when you go to a hairdresser. Not all hairdressers are created equal, unfortunately. Just because I say go to a professional doesn't mean they're always gonna do the best job. Check out their Instagrams, I don't know. Just do some research. Hopefully this doesn't happen to you guys if you go to a hairdresser. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at BradMondoNYC. Check out my new channel, Brad and Eric, linked below. Don't forget about my new shampoo and conditioner launch happening on September 3rd. So excited about that. Follow Xmondo on Instagram and Twitter at Xmondo Hair to stay up to date with what time the new product launch will be and new product launches in the future. And that is all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life. And I will see you all next time.